Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm going to continue the Beetle series today. So, in a previous video, I have finished the rear brake lines. And so, next up is the pedal cluster. I have to get that pedal cluster done before I can do anything with the accelerator cable or the clutch cable and just basically any of this other stuff. So, next up is the pedal cluster. My pedal cluster that came with my beetle is a little worse for wear. So here is it's been soaking in evapor rust for several days. Most of the surface rust is gone. The problem is that the brake pedal is frozen in the down position. It's just a, I believe it's just a metal incompatibility issue. You know, there's a brass bushing in there. Everything else is steel. Actually, the, the body is, I think it's magnesium. The body of the pedal cluster, it's either the magnesium or cast aluminum. So anyway, you have all these dissimilar metals all coming into contact with each other and combine that with the water that accumulated in the beetle over the years, as well as like uh, brake fluid and things, and you get a frozen petal cluster, basically. So I'm going to pull this out, dry it off, um, and then see what I can do about taking this thing apart. Okay, from what I can tell, I have a pin right here. And that's what holds the clutch pedal on to the assembly. There is a snap ring right here. I believe that's what holds the brake pedal onto the assembly. <clears throat> we have some type of a pin here that interfaces with this roller that's underneath the accelerator pedal. And then another pin here is what holds the accelerator pedal to the assembly. All of this stuff is extremely corroded. Um, I think I see a weld right there. So this might get interesting. There's no way these pins are going to survive. I wouldn't want to keep them even if they did. So I'm going to have to use some heat, maybe some grinding. The key here is to just try to save this because I don't have this piece. I have most, well, I don't have the pedals, right? I'm trying to save the pedals in the base, but like this hook that attaches to the clutch cable, I have a new one of these. I've got new springs. I've got rebuild parts, just not everything. And I don't have these pins, but I can probably use roll pins or something. So let me see what I can do real quick and if I can make any progress.
so besides the uh, clutch pedal, I still haven't gotten that post out of it yet, but I've been able to spin it on the shaft. I don't know, it's really hard. I spent so much time working on that, I was dreading doing the rest of this, but actually, this guy's still hot. Um, everything else came apart pretty easy. I don't know what happened with the brake pedal. It was seized, but I mean, it popped right off. So the brake pedal's good. The base is good. The accelerator pedal. And then all the little bits and pieces that make this little contraption work. Um, I still really have to kind of reassess what all I have as far as rebuild parts go. I may not be able to rebuild this even after all this work. I may just end up buying new. I do understand now, I mean, the allure of buying new um, just because this thing was so corroded and hard to get apart. The bushings are actually good, um, believe it or not. So I just need to get everything cleaned up. I need to still figure out how to get the shaft out of this one because I have a replacement shaft right here. And um, so I gotta go to the store, see if I can't find a big old punch or something. And then I think I'm just gonna stick this in the vise and heat it up and then wail on it with the punch. Cause it did move a little bit, it did spin a little bit. So there's no way you'll be able to see in there, but you'll see maybe a little shiny ledge in there where I was able to do this. I My problem is that the only heat source I have is this little map gas torch and it just does not put out enough heat I don't think in order to get this metal to expand the amount that it needs to expand to let go of the shaft. So anyway I'll uh, be back with an update if once I make some progress. Well, I gotta admit that uh, clutch pedal is really was really getting to me, <clears throat> kind of frustrating me. But I went out, had some lunch, feeling a little bit more optimistic about it. I went to my local farm store and I grabbed um, this is a just a pin punch. The biggest size they had for a pin punch was five sixteenths. Um, so I also got a hold of, I think they call this one a solid punch. It's got a taper to it. And this one is three eighths of an inch at the base. And then it tapers up to, I don't know, something big, five eighths. So I'm going to grab my five pound sledge and jig this up in my vise right here. Probably set it up like this and then um, get my punch. You know, I don't know if that big punch is going to fit in here. I grabbed it because it was there. Yep, it'll fit. So I'm going to stick that punch in there and then just start beating the devil out of it. We'll see what happens. Well, now I've wedged my punch into it.
Okay. <clears throat> that was not fun. Hopefully I haven't ruined this piece. I don't think I have. Just need to get everything cleaned up and then I need to assess what I have for rebuild parts and see what else I need to get. Okay, this is what I'm left with here. Clutch pedal, base, accelerator pedal. Uh, this attaches to the accelerator pedal. I'm not too sure what it does yet. Here's the brake pedal. And then some bits and pieces that came from that. Now what I have for the rebuild is I have a brake pedal return spring, which is needed. I do, I have the, the clutch pedal shaft, which is needed. This is an accelerator pedal rebuild kit, so it comes with the, the two pins and a couple of washers um, and the little guide roller, um, everything that's needed, even though this one's in pretty good shape. I use that. I'm going to reuse this uh, spring clip I believe I'm going to need. I'm going to reuse this spring clip, which I believe I'm going to need. So I'm pretty sure I have everything that I need except for the pin that locks this shaft into the pedal right here, which I can get locally. And then I'm going to have to figure out, there's like a bump stop, or there used to be a bump stop on the back of this pedal. I guess it's when you really mash down, this is the clutch pedal, so when you really mash down the pedal, if it bottoms out against the firewall, it hits something soft. Now this is pretty much deteriorated and so I don't know if that is like an aftermarket add-on thing because you see how it's bolted on like that. Um, so I'm not sure um, but I'll look around and see if I can find something. It's not the end of the world if I can't find it immediately. As far as the bushings go, I'm uh, I'm going to run with the bushings that are already here. I'm just going to clean them up. <clears throat> uh, I can probably find uh, the right bushings if I, you know, because all you, they're probably just standard sizes. I can probably get them from McMaster or whatever, but there is very little play. I'll give you an example here. This is that, that's the uh, clutch uh, rod, and uh, there's no, there's no play. You maybe if I shake it really hard, you might be able to hear the slightest rattle. Once that's packed with grease, that shouldn't be a problem. The same thing goes for the brake pedal. Um, there's uh, no play in that bushing at all. So once I clean it up, I may introduce some play. I guess I'll reassess after I clean everything up, but I'm not too concerned about that. This car doesn't have a lot of miles and it there wasn't a lot of wear and tear on the vehicle the problem with all of this and the reason it needed to be rebuilt was the fact that it had sat and corroded for so long sat it sat in brake fluid leak like the brake fluid leaked out of the master cylinder and got all over this and that's what kind of corroded all of this away so I'm going to give it all a good clean and then we'll see if we can't uh, start reassembling everything. Alright, I went ahead and cleaned everything up off camera. I mean, <clears throat> as best as I could. There's obviously still areas that I couldn't reach with the wire wheel. But it's, you know, 90% better than it was. Um, I do have a little bit of corrosion on this post here. The bushings... They still look pretty decent, you know, I think they're worn, they're not as perfect as they could be, but like I said before, um, that's the amount, now that I've cleaned them up, you can hear the amount of rattle in here, so there is some play, and then this bushing inside the brake pedal is pretty, pretty good, um, same amount of rattle. It's actually, I guess, less rattle than the other one. <clears throat> so I'm not going to sweat it too much. I'm just going to make sure they're 
well lubricated when I put it all back together. Before I put it together though, I'm gonna admit, you know, I got a bunch of diesel fuel all over my hands because that's what I use in my parts washer. So I'm gonna clean these off, dry them off really good. I'm gonna paint them, try to protect them as best as I can. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this rod. It's already got corrosion just from being in storage. Um, so I might try to clean that up with a little bit of Scotch-Brite. Then once everything is all painted and, and the paint is dry, that's when I will put it all back together and try to install it in the beetle. Okay, now that everything's painted up, it's time for a little reassembly. I already added my roller to the accelerator pedal. I'm going to use a little grease just to help keep the rust to a minimum and help these bushings. They're a little worn, but uh, not worn to the point where I feel like they need to be replaced. These universal rebuild kits you know, you never know exactly what you're going to get. I already checked this. This pin is the pin that goes into this hole right here. And the head on this pin is too big. For whatever reason, here's the original pin. Um, I guess it'll have to do. I don't know. I might be able to grind this down. But... It's just a couple millimeters too big, and it can't be proud of this surface because this assembly bolts up against the tunnel, and this has to uh, clear that, or it'll make it, it'll kind of make everything want to twist that away, and it just will mess up. It won't be square, basically, or flat on the floor of the, the beetle. So I could probably reuse the pin. It's not that bad. It's not in that bad of a shape, but I wish that it just would have been fine. The other part that I'm missing is, uh, it might be over in just that big pile of parts that I have, but I need a retainer clip for the push rod for the brake master cylinder. Um, again, that doesn't affect what we're doing right now though, so let's go ahead and get started here. Get some grease in this guy. I don't intend on using this beetle in the winter or in the rain for that matter. Whenever I finish it, whenever that day may come. But I like, I want to make sure I have a good coating of grease on everything, just in case some moisture gets down there. All right, it looks like I'm gonna to need to hammer this into place. Well, as usual, I got a little carried away off camera. So an interesting thing to note, the this um, 
shaft that runs through the whole assembly here. The aftermarket one is about two millimeters, two to three millimeters too long. So there is some play here. Not sure what I want to do about that yet. Um, another thing is the rebuild kit did not come with the new pin. I had to drill out the old pin as you remember the ordeal. So I went to my local hardware store and they only carry SAE. So I think this was a six millimeter hole. I bought a quarter inch dowel pin and I drilled it out. I know that's blasphemy, but it had to be done. All right. Next is the accelerator pad, another, you know, universal kit problem issues that, you know, this pin is way longer than it needs to be. I guess I can cut it down if I want to. I'm not going to at the moment, but uh, let's go ahead and put this back in here with its original pin. This pin has no retainer because once this is mounted to the tunnel, the pin is retained just by physically being in contact with the tunnel. My soft mallet right here. Maybe. So this is the assembly. I don't think this spring is doing anything. I think it's supposed to do something, but it's not doing anything. So, I don't know. It never actually comes into contact with the base. Um, I don't know. It's a possibility that I bought the wrong kit. I don't know. Um, once I get every, once I start adjusting everything, I will um, be able to modify things as needed. Um, I don't know how the assembly. I know that the uh, return spring for the accelerator, you know, runs this uh, roller on the pedal. Um, you know, and it back in its idle. You know, when it's in idle, it's here, and then when you press it, you know. But this spring here is not doing anything. So. Another thing I don't have and I can't find is there is that buffer, that little rubber bumper on the back of the clutch. I'm going to reassemble the clip that holds that, but I don't think, uh, I mean, I'll have to come up with something. It, there's nothing available online that I can find. Okay, let me take you to the beetle and show you the other issue I'm dealing with. Something that you probably, if you are a beetle aficionado, you already know was going to be an issue. I probably should have looked something up when I was running this brake line. I thought I was being clever by running it back here, but I think it's going to interfere with the pedal cluster. Show you what I need. With that installed, the brake line actually offsets the mounting locations for this pedal cluster. I thought it would have been odd to have to run your brake line down and around this way, but that looks like the way it's supposed to be, and that would probably explain just a little bit of extra slack that I'm dealing with um, in the brake line. So 
I'm gonna have to redo all that and I'll probably do that off camera because you don't need to watch me get frustrated wrestling with this brake line. Well, I got it in there, it took some doing. Um, I'm not too sure about this brake line still. I mean, it's not touching anything. And then there is a cover that goes over the accelerator, which will protect the, uh, the brake line. And that's before any carpet or anything goes in. I, I'm not going to worry about it right now unless you guys uh, come out at me and start yelling about something that I'm doing wrong, which is entirely possible. Uh, but I got it. It's running to the master. It's underneath the clutch pedal, and there's clearance here. Actually, it is rubbing a little bit, so I'll have to, I'll have to work with that a little bit more and make sure that this clutch pedal does not rub on the brake line. Um, but this is all just a mock-up. Um, I have the clutch cable attached, but I don't have the accelerator. I have a brand new accelerator cable that I need to find and then install that. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to be done. I think that does it for me for the pedal cluster. Um, I was able to uh, rebuild it basically and kind of restore it. And... Um, as I was doing my research, I, I've learned <clears throat> that there is like an upgrade to this, which is like a roller setup. And um, so I might have to look into that because this is just a little, I don't know. I guess if it works, it works. But if it uh, starts causing trouble or something, I may look into some type of an upgrade. All right, so that does it for this one. Thanks everybody for sticking around. All comments and advice are greatly appreciated down in the comment section. Um, if you have any questions about why I chose to do what I did and, or anything like that, feel free to go ahead and uh, let me know down in the comment section below as well. Once again, my name is Tom. This is Southpaw Workshop. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.